Five Live is digital. Get the app, search for Five Live Podcasts and listen on digital radio. Good morning. It is 8.39 Monday morning. Now, the former England cricketer Sir Ian Botham says he's going to donate 10,000 pheasants and partridges that are shot on his estates to food banks. It's part of a scheme from the Country Food Trust to make meals out of game birds shot for sport. Now, the sport itself, of course, remains controversial. More than 120,000 people signed a petition calling for grouse shooting to be banned last year. Let's talk to Sir Ian now. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us about the scheme, what you're aiming to do. Well, the idea is that uh, according to um, information that we've uh, received and which is readily available to everybody, um, there are a lot of people out there who are struggling and a lot of people out there who can't get a proper square meal. So our idea and our plan is to donate 10,000 birds and pay, pay for the processing and we'd let to produce out of that. You'll have a uh, pheasant uh, with vegetables, a casserole, and uh, a partridge curry. And everybody that buys one of these, um, for everyone that's bought, uh, we will donate one to uh, the homeless. Ah, OK. So you've got a kind of combined sort of commercial scheme, charitable see- scheme sitting side by side. Well, I wouldn't say commercial, would you? Uh, um, you know, we're actually saying that you buy one, we give one. Okay. So it's costing us about £40,000 a year. OK. Uh, what would happen to these birds otherwise? Uh, how do you mean? Well, the birds that are being donated... Um... There they go. Most of them go to ab- abroad, uh, to Europe. Um, uh, it's uh, very popular in the... Uh, you know, according to the Joseph Rowntree Foundation, which uh, in September 2016 actually said that, um, you know, you know, that there are as many as 14 million people in the UK, which is what we're focusing on, uh, who are um, going without, and what we're trying to do is give back. Um, we shoot the birds, we rear the birds, we shoot the birds. The birds have a normal life; they can uh, live us. <laughs> They're normal. Uh, we don't shoot every single bird we raise, believe me. Nowhere near it. Well, I know, and, uh, and in fact, that's where I think a lot of people perhaps have some trouble with the whole idea of, of shooting well, as a sport. Look, if I, if, if I can just say, we know that um, millions, millions of birds, up to fifty million birds, are bred each year to be shot as and a how sport. many chickens are bred every year no no I'm, I'm just asking this question because that's what we're talking about if i may and you know well, you happy... may ask the question but so, the question so, also so is that's what how that's many what... chickens how many chickens are uh, bred with a six-week life yeah i think it's the shooting for sport that some people have an issue with <laughs> yeah okay and what's the issue well, I think perhaps some people find it hard to get their heads around killing animals for sport. I'm... Well, look, look you, you enjoy walking in the countryside, you enjoy seeing the countryside, you enjoy seeing the rivers, you enjoy seeing everything that goes on. If you don't look after the, uh, whether it's a grass moor or it's uh, the countryside, if you don't look after these things, they d- disintegrate, they die, and you won't see anything. Mm-hmm. And I know, and I know, and I've I've read that argument, and I've I've read um, certainly the research that supports that. I've also read animal rights groups saying actually um, the conditions in which these birds are kept are appalling. Um, they carry diseases which can be transmitted into the countryside. Um, are you they talking also, about some cartridge? They also um, the, the, the issue of no, peppering sorry, the countryside. Sorry, if I can, I'll finish and then I'll no, let you go. Is that okay? okay? Is that can we work it like that? And the, the issue the issue of peppering whole... lead shot into the countryside is also one that people have a problem with. Over to you. Well, the thing is, look, at the end of the day, we are here trying to help up to 14 million people in this country who go without a proper feed. And we are, every, every single one that's bought by the public, we will donate one. Uh, so what, what, I don't actually see what your problem is with that. I'm not, I'm not saying I have a problem with it. I'm just discussing the issue with you. Well, OK, what's the issue? Well, as I've raised it, there's also an issue around um, grouse shooting. Obviously, we're approaching the glorious. No, you, that was defeated in the. If you remember, there was a petition that went to the house, uh, went to Parliament, and there was. Uh, well, I think you might find that people involved were called. Um, they weren't telling the truth. Okay, so just just to again clarify on this one, the, the connection with, um, for example, grouse shooting, and um, there is no connection dis- with grouse shooting. Hang on, can, can I just finish, Mr. Both? I'm really no, sorry, because because then and well, otherwise people don't know what we're talking coming. about. Otherwise well, you're people would. Wrong. You are wrong. There's nothing to do with grouse. Okay, we're this talking is about 
pheasant and partridge. Pheasant casserole and partridge curry, okay. which we are giving. Now, if you have a better solution, I'm very much, I'm, I'm ready to hear it. But at the moment, uh, where, where's grouse come into this equation? Right, grouse comes into the equation because it's part of the um, shooting game birds as a sport industry. And this is what a lot of people have been talking no, no, about surrounding this issue. People. And I just want to know whether you would deny that there is any connection, for example, between grouse shooting and the decimation of the hen harrier population. Are you saying no, that there is you no you are so, so wrong. You must stop listening to people like Chris Packham because their facts are wrong and they were, and they were told that when they went to the Houses of Parliament. So, look, do me a favour mm -hmm. and, actually, let's talk about what we're talking about. I've come on you, I'm here to promote something that we feel is giving back to people who are uh, in a far worse position than you and me. And we're giving something. Now, if you've got a better solution to that, I'm willing to listen to it. Do you Hi. have a better solution? Oh, it's not up to me to come up with solutions. Morning, oh, you Ian. Are. You're, make, you're making a few very, very, very <laughs> pungent points there. Morning, Ian. Congratulate. Say... Can I just say, it sounds, it sounds like a fantastic scheme for feeling people. It's Nikki here. Thank How you. are you? Good morning. Uh, uh, let, uh, no, what, let me ask you. Let me just ask you something. I, there's a lot of because you're a huntsman, you you might condemn this. Um, many people will say, hopefully, he will condemn this because there is shooting and there's shooting. But there's a lot of fury at the moment about you know. Species in decline, uh, trophy hunting. Can you? Un you're a huntsman. Well, Can you? Un you're uh, like shooting tame lions and things. So I think it's look, appalling. Yeah, it is appalling. Can you understand? And I'm sure you condemn it. Can you understand the thrill that these rich Americans and rich Russians have? I mean, if I saw a lion in the what, bush, I'd want to. I'd want to. <laughs> I'd want to. I'd want to photograph this majestic animal. Can you understand the thrill that these rich well, people that's have? That's what I do. And I no, I'm talking uh, about lions and elephants. Can you understand yes, that exactly, thrill? That's exactly what I do. I, I, shoot, I shoot them with my camera. Yeah. And there's stuff going out, and I'm uh, putting a book together at the moment with my life in Africa, Brilliant. where I spent some time. And I am totally opposed to cage shooting, it's called. And what happens is these rich people come along, and they uh, shoot a lion that's come out of a zoo, and it's probably about X number of years old, and they semi-drug it and out it goes and they go and shoot it. They're big, big, brave boys. Now, I'm totally opposed to that and everybody in the shooting fraternity that I know is opposed to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And we, we think it's appalling. I think it's appalling and I have nothing to do with that. Why, my point is that we, we are don't... The, the object of this whole exercise is to donate for everyone that buys one of these foods, which is a casserole, a, a pheasant or a partridge curry for everyone that's bought, we will then donate one back. We're putting about £40,000 into this project of our own money, and we're donating 10,000 birds. Now, I find it very difficult to understand how that can be negative. Can we ask you a question about the cricket? Uh, no, I'm not here to talk about cricket. OK, that's fine. No, you, 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 you came with an agenda... No, I don't have an agenda, but it's, uh, you know, it's in, imperative of us to kind of we, ask, look, ask uh, questions around doing? broad issues. Okay, that, right, and that, well, and that's what we did. Issue. And I don't think, in, in fairness, uh, Ian, but I, I don't think anyone's sort of not giving you the chance to say your piece. So if there's anything more you want to say... Yes, yeah, so what I'd like to say is, what are you doing for those 14 million people? My job is a journalist to ask questions. You're correct. Your, your, your job is a journalist. Yeah, I understand that. My point is that we are actually trying to make an effort and make a difference. And uh, negativity such as the, your question has got nothing to do with grouse shooting, uh, which was thrown out of Parliament, which you failed to mention. And my point is, you know, the Joseph Rowntree Foundation in September 2016 said as many as 14 million people are living in poverty in the UK, which I think is disgraceful in itself. But the point is that we are offering uh, nutritious uh, pheasant casseroles and partridge curries. I think we're making an effort. Do you um, not agree? Not for me to agree or disagree, but thank you very much for your time. <laughs> no, but you can be very opinionated, can't you? Thank you very much. Can't we all? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Sorry in both of them. He's got a good value, isn't he? Loads of text. Yeah, um, it's uh, 8.48. Right, let's talk about your call. We've had loads of text.